All right, well, we're gonna try this one more time. We're getting phone calls and just technical difficulties. So hopefully this time, this one will work. I will try to crop in anything in the other videos that I was filming that I think might be noteworthy, but I'm gonna really try to touch on it well enough that I don't have to do that. But um, so that way, if you see any cutting and splicing, that's what that's kind of what's going on. So the box comes like this with the Bills khakis tape. Pretty cool, I think. Uh, it's a nice little touch. They don't have to do it. Uh, I like it. I always think it's cool when companies do that. Uh, in the box, it comes with this little piece of uh, heavy cardstock cardboard. Uh, the only thing that I can assume that it's for is for when you go to open the box that you don't risk cutting into the material, possibly, uh, as well as making sure that the receipt and stuff like that only gets so wrinkled up, I'm assuming. So here are the British khaki pair. Nicely packaged, comes with the Bills logo and the little keystone. Nice little touch. Uh, again, these are unfinished uh, and pleated in the classic fit. Here are the chamois cloth khakis. There we go. Oops. Uh, and they are also pleated in the classic fit, unfinished. Uh, as you can see, I don't know how well you can see that. The chamois cloth is a much thinner weight khaki. It reminds me more of, say, a pair of Brooks Brothers khakis in how thin they are. Not thin in a negative way, but thin in just how, how they're made. Uh, I would say that these are a little bit more casual, possibly. Still great, you could still dress them up. Maybe casual is not the right word, but just kind of want you to get an idea, especially when you look at the pocket, of how thin the material is. Again, I'm not saying that in a negative way. On the back is one of the extra pairs, and actually this works out, works out great, so you can see the difference in the material. And I don't know how well you can see that, but this cloth, you can see, especially on this pocket here, that it's much more, it's got like a, just more of a hand to it. It's, it's a thicker material. So this is the twill, and then the other pair, which is on the back, is just chamois cloth. I really couldn't find any good information. I guess technically it's got it too, but uh, maybe we need to look at the pleat here uh, as a, you know, how thick the weight is. Um, the twill is definitely much thicker. This is definitely much thinner. Again, I'm repeating myself, but I couldn't really find any information that I was really looking for, especially close up like this. Let's get them out of the package. Couldn't really find any. So I got the chamois cloth on a whim. That's kind of what my dad told me he preferred. I actually prefer this thicker weight. Uh, it's just got a better hand to it, to me. Um, and, I, and plus, I just like the thicker, thicker weight. Here is the unhemmed bottom and the seam. It's been a while. I used to sew these. Yes, is open. It is not closed, which is good. So if you, it looks like you could probably get three quarters of an inch out of these if you, if you wanted to widen them for any reason or narrow them, it is possible. The seam is not closed. Um, I put a cuff on a many of these back when I used to sew. For a menswear store, we sold these by the boatload, but back then I really wasn't interested in them very much. Um, so you can see it's a little thinner. Again, not in a bad way. And these, is this open? Yes, so that's open. So again, you can slim them down. Uh, the waistband is good because it's not sewed shut like many Brooks Brothers pants are now and some of the other cheaper companies. Uh, this is good because you can take the waist in and out, whereas a lot of them now, uh, especially Brooks Brothers, this waistband is solid. 
to where it really can't be altered any. And on the inside, this is doesn't have any extra material and is um, surged shut. So that is a nice thing about these. So that way, if these don't particularly fit how I want, at least I can take them in and out and I don't have to keep bothering Bell's khakis about it. So they were already nice enough to return these, or I should say exchange these the first time. Awesome company. Really, really awesome. And so let's put the two again just side by side so you can see some of the difference. So there is kind of the difference between the twill on the left and the chamois cloth on the right. So what I'm going to do in a separate video um, is I'm going to this out of the way. In, in a separate video, I'm going to wash some of these. Um, and I'm going to get a tape measure out and I'm going to see how much they shrink. Um, and then from there, I will, since another thing I really couldn't find is how these looked on someone. Um, you know, again, I'm a six foot tall, about 160 pound, uh, you know, young man. So I wanted them to be a little fuller. I think clothes that are too tight, one, I don't really think they look all that great, but two, you have to live in these clothes, so they might as well be as comfortable as po as possible. And in today's age, we're carrying around cell phones and wallets and keys and, you know, USBs and everything else. You might as well have enough room to put stuff in, you know, to where it doesn't look silly, um, like you've put way too many things in your pocket, so uh, interrupting the drape and everything else. But... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go outside at some point once the khakis are finished, they've been washed, have a cuff on them and, and everything, just to show how exactly the fit is on the classic fit. So that'll be for another video. So again, just to recap, we'll wash them, measure the length of one that has been not washed, one that has been washed, what the shrinkage amount was. I'm going to wash them probably two times, but I might even do three, but probably twice. Um, just so that way people have an idea. Again, there's some, some kind of a lot of urban legends out there on wash them a couple of times, but they don't really say how much it shrinks. And then that way, say you wanted a 32 length and we know that it shrinks an inch, at least in theory, you could go to Bill's Khaki's website and just order a, you know, 31 or 31 and a half. Uh, and it and it shrink to your liking, and you not have to go through all this trouble. So again, that's kind of my goal with this, and I hope this video benefits you. I, again, I kind of rambled, but unfortunately, that's going to be the nature of most of my videos. Um, until I get better at this, who knows? Maybe one day I'll write a script or whatever, so that way it's a little more professional. But right now, I'm just trying to get content out while I have the free time. All right, so thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers.